Hello, here we are again with Virtual Jams with Jam Along. This is where we trade back and forth solos here on YouTube, just like we're in a real jam session with the luxury of having just two pickers so we can go right back and forth and really get some uh, trading going. Uh, and this one, I think we're going to work on some funky bluesy grooves for the banjo. So uh, I think I know just the backing track. Let's go to Jam Along and find it. We're going to search for funky <laughs> on a whim. See what comes up. I think I know what will. There we go. It's a backing track. Wow, it's on sale for only three bucks. Better get it soon. A backing track, funk style in G. Very cool. And as is often safe, we're going to pick the medium tempo. And here's what's going to happen. I'm going to take the first solo. Then I'm going to pass it to you. Then I'm going to take it back. Then I'm going to pass it to you for the last time through. And then the backing track should end. However, you can rewind over and over and over again here on this video and get plenty of time trading with me, okay? Eventually, once you want the spotlight all to yourself, acquire this backing track and you can play the whole time and it's quite fun as well. Although it's really good skills to be able to trade too. So I'm going to take the first one and just so you know, I'm going to use a mental menu as I call it to figure out a plot for my solos. The first time, I'm going to play sort of rolls more of a scrunzy approach. And the second solo, I'm going to play single string blues scales. So that's my approach. Let's pick. Be first. One, two, three, Here we go. four. Super duper fun. So once again, the idea here is the game of jamming, trading back and forth. You don't have to play just like me. I don't have to play just like you. We each use the tools that we have. Now, if you do want to learn some of the licks I was playing for whatever reason, um, get a hold of us and I can send you tab for those. But more importantly is you're developing the ability to trade solos back and forth, to improvise across the fingerboard, to stay in time with the groove, and to use the different tools that you have. For example, on the banjo, a common approach for that style would be the single string blues scales. And the be benefit of that, it's all over the neck. Um, we've also got a great lesson on melodic style blues scales, which can be used as well. Um, and roll patterns never fail for the banjo, using your seventh chords and rolls. cool way to get that funk without a whole lot of scalar workout. So once again, rewind that, have fun, and uh, we'll see you at jamalong.org.